All right, everybody, welcome back. Today we're out here with our six by 12 trailer. Um, we've got some issues with it. It's been a good trailer for many, many years. As you can see, it's weathered. Um, we got some lights broken that we got to pick up. Um, we did these, if you haven't seen the video on these light boxes, click the link above. We welded on some light boxes, but we have to do some maintenance here, like check the tires, grease things. But we wanted to add some things on from Harbor Freight and see if the uh, Hallmaster products by Harbor Freight are any good. So we've got a few accessories for the front here that we're going to put on and we'll show you what we got. All right, we got this uh, Hallmaster steel tongue trailer box. Uh, we got the 12 ton bottle jacks in case we have a, a blowout, we can lift it up. What we did get also is a new A-frame trailer jack because that one is absolutely terrible. We got a swivel wheel so we can roll it around. We have two chalk blocks to go inside the tongue box for when we um, park the trailer. But yeah, we're going to get all this stuff on there and uh, see how it fits, see how it works. All right, as you can see on the Harbor Freight Hallmaster, the handle falls down out of the way. That's one of the problems we have with this handle is it kept getting banged up on the trailer bed or the gate or if somebody was loading this trailer, they hit it and that's what happened with this. And it just became extremely tight to rotate, always rusting out. Uh, this one actually looks beefier as far as the tube and everything um, on the Harbor Freight one. So we're hoping that it's gonna be smooth. Uh, we're gonna bolt it directly in. It looks like the triangle pattern there will fit perfectly it's got slotted holes so you can move it a little bit and as you can see that sand shoe down there is quite tiny so this trailer rocks when you have the uh, landing leg down we should be able to fix that with this trailer wheel also make it easier to move around and then we have one of those little uh wheel dollies that they sell from harbor freight as well that just the wheel sits into so we're gonna get all this on and see how it looks all right, we got the old one out. It was pretty simple. Three bolts. The new one fit in there properly from Harbor Freight. Fit like a glove. Everything lines up. We'll bolt everything down and get this wheel on and lift it up and see how well it does. All right, we have it on there. We got the wheels chalked right now because if you have a low sitting hitch like we have on, uh, on this car or truck, you're going to have some issues with clearance. And this doesn't fold up. So you see, we can't even reach the ball. Uh, for bigger cars, bigger SUVs, it'll probably be fine. This truck's about 25 years old, so it is a smaller truck. I don't think you'll have any issues with newer trucks from probably 2010 plus. But we're gonna crank it and show you. One hand on the camera, one hand on the uh, dolly. And it is so smooth, guys and girls. I wish we could show you this as we're cranking it up top, but we got one hand and you see that leg is going up and coming down perfectly so yeah this uh trailer jack and wheel definitely an upgrade so we're gonna get the box on here now set it on here and see how it looks all right we got a tongue box sitting on there it looks excellent um definitely gonna be a huge upgrade for us We're gonna go ahead and just weld this on because as you can see it's not perfectly aligned uh, for this trailer a-frame in the front here but we lined the corners up and looks like we've got some small holes down there that we can reach the frame rail through and they were probably for screws but we're gonna go ahead and weld this one up so we'll get the welder out clean everything up come back and check it out all right, we centered up the trailer box where it was centered on the front of our trailer. And what you're gonna wanna do is um, drill your holes if you're gonna bolt it in, or if you're gonna do like we did, uh, weld it, mark it with some soapstone, and go ahead and clear all the paint off down to the metal on both the box and the trailer so we can get it set up to get welded nice and clean. Preparation is key for welding. All right, everything is set up. The paint is stripped off. We're gonna go ahead and get the welder set up. Uh, looks like this may be 14 gauge steel is what we measured. 
So we'll set it up for 14 gauge and see if it sticks to the frame. All right, we got everything tacked in. We're just gonna go ahead and run a bead. We are not professional welders. So uh, hopefully the bead comes out well and hopefully this Harbor Freight welder can make us uh, a good welder. Uh, it's not a great weld, but it's not a terrible weld. Uh, we did get penetration on both sides, so everything's good. We're gonna clean the slag up and see how the actual weld looks. I know I'll probably get roasted in the comment section, but I've seen worse, I've seen better. This is kinda good for a trailer tongue box. It's not gonna go anywhere. We'll just weld it all the way around now, the whole edge, and that should be more than enough to hold this thing on. All right, we just finished with the welder. Welds didn't come out too bad. It's just our inexperience in welding, but this thing is on there rock solid. It's not going anywhere. We'll get it painted up and see how it looks. All right, we got it all painted up. It does not look bad at all. It's on there very solidly. This side's not so good. Welds are crap, but as far as penetration, you can see we got penetration through the box on both sides. So we are good. This thing is strong. It's not going anywhere. So we'll continue on and then uh, show you guys what we got. All right, well, there it is. We updated the trailer jack, put a, a wheel on the jack with the new Harbor Freight Hallmaster 5,000 pound capacity. Um, absolutely smooth running, no issues. Uh, that keeps the trailer from moving around. Now with this wheel, this trailer is super easy to move around. It's a six by 12, a one man job to move it around, no problems. Again, here we got a Hall Master tongue box. Uh, we used a Harbor Freight Vulcan 220 Omni Pro to weld it. Again, we're using all Harbor Freight parts to go ahead and get this thing um, to 2024 standards here since this is an old trailer and it didn't have much going on. But as you can see, the welds are good, solid. Everything feels rock hard. And then we can open it up here. And inside, we've got a Pittsburgh 12 ton jack in case we gotta change the tire out. A uh, smaller sand shoe for uh, any reason for clearance. We got a four-way stowable uh, lug wrench, again, Harbor Freight, wheel chocks from Harbor Freight, and some of those triangular lights in case we're out at night. So yeah, that's everything. Um, definitely great little upgrades for the trailer. Uh, this is part one. We got to do the lights and some other things in part two. So if you like this content, smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.